So let's proceed with the next set of 20 questions. Here we would be talking about the right to city. Now right to city was under the Habitat 3 and this was under the UN Conference on Housing and Sustainable Urban Development. So it did not talk about a agreed human right or monitoring the commitments but it yes was the uh, the concept was that every occupant would be able to reclaim the public space and the public participation and the recent um, uh, tussle that happened focus that this facility cannot be denied to the unauthorized colonies in the city. So two and three are the right option for this question. A very uh, contemporary question which was asked. The next question talks about judicial custody. Now judicial custody, a person can be locked up in jail. Okay, the person can be sent to jail. So first is incorrect and the police officer in charge of the case is not allowed to interrogate without the approval of the court. So that is the correct option. So two only is the right option here. The next statement says about uh, when a prisoner makes out sufficient case, uh, the parole uh, can be issued because it is uh, it becomes a matter of the right. Now this uh, is not a matter of right. Parole is not considered as right in India. So first statement is incorrect. The state governments have their own prisoners release on the parole rule and this is as per the Prison Prisoners Act 1984. So that is correct. So two is correct. Two only is the right option here. Again, the question talks about at the national level, which ministry is uh, meant for implementation of the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers recognition of forest right act. So the correct answer is Ministry of Tribal Affairs dealing with the forest dwellers rights. The next is again a direct question which of the following confers on the executive the authority uh, on the executive an unguided and uncontrolled discretionary power of the application of law violates which one of the following articles? So the correct answer is Article 32. Article 32 provides a provision whereby individuals can seek redressal for the violation of their fundamental rights. The next question talks about uh, which of the following in Indian polity is essential feature that indicates that it is federal in nature. So uh, independence of judiciary should be safeguarded and this guarantees that the dispute between the union and the state should be settled in accordance with the principles of the constitution uh, guaranteeing the federal structure and safeguarding the uh, structure okay so one is the right option here the next is the next question talks about what is best defined as the term state. Now independent judiciary is not a prerequisite for state so D is incorrect. Now under the basic definition of a state it talks about population, it talks about a government, a capacity to enter into relation with others and a territory. Now considering these four elements which is best defined. So A is best defined, the community of the persons permanently occupying a definite territory independent of external control and possessing an organized government is the right answer. The next question talks about uh, the article 128. Now article 128 focuses on reappointment of the judges of Supreme Court, uh, the retired judges of Supreme Court. So that is uh, the correct option. They can be called uh, to call back to sit and act by the Chief Justice with the permission of the President of India and the same applies for the High Court uh, judges as well under Article 224A. High Court and Supreme Court both have the power to review. So uh, both the statement here are correct. Both one and two are the right options. The next question talks about which of the following statements are correct. So in India we have one citizenship and one domicile. Uh, the citizenship can be uh, either renounced, terminated or deprived. So three is incorrect. The uh, citizenship as per the citizenship any uh, rule any clause of the citizenship if met they are allowed to be the head of the state so again two is not correct so one only is the right option 
The next question is which of the following constitutes the best safeguard for liberty in a liberal democracy? So according to Montague, uh, the concept of separation of power was explained and this uh, uh, was explained under his Tria Politica. So Tria Politica was the work under which separation of uh, powers was ex explained by Secondet and later on it was Montesquieu who under the spirit of laws talked about uh, the concept of uh, asserting or promoting liberty and uh, the power to act and um, act independently and separately so separation of powers is the right answer here uh, so montesquieu's work is important okay uh, the next is which of the following is true regarding savanna now savannas are the areas where uh, we have to uh, focus on keeping the forest under check now which combinations would keep the forest under check herbivores would not keep the tall trees under check so the two things would be here the seasonal rainfall and soil properties as the correct answer it's not related to fire and burrowing of animals okay so uh, seasonal rainfall and soil properties would be the right option the next question is with reference to the water on the planet earth the amount of groundwater in the soil is higher than sorry just a minute uh, amount of groundwater in the soil is higher than the rivers and the lakes so the first is incorrect so in the groundwater it is 0.61 percent in the polar ice caps it is around 2.15 percent ocean is around 97.2 percent okay so the second statement is correct the first is incorrect so two only is the right option the next question is moringa is a, a leguminous crop it's a it's a crop which is seen in evergreen or deciduous forest okay tamarind is endemic to the tropical africa so that is incorrect so two is incorrect so two is incorrect here now uh, india exports tamarind and the seeds of uh, moringa moringa which is also known as drumstick uh, is one of the major crops which is highly drought resistant and grown in the various regions so uh, the seeds are also used as biofuels the leaves are used for other purpose but the seeds are used as biofuels okay so uh, that is the right option and uh, tamarind is corrected as a minor forest produce okay so those are the correct options coming on to the next question in india it is the fissure volcanic soil which is responsible for the black cotton in the deccan area and this was during the cretaceous period so a very direct question from geography the next is recombinant vector vaccines now these are live replicating viruses so second one is incorrect and they are genetically engineered to carry the extra gene uh, and this uh, helps to uh, produce more protein which helps us to fight against uh, or helps us to generate immunity so genetically engineered is correct so one only is the right option the next question says that uh, mitochondrial diseases are inherited only from mother and not from father however the uh, dr the nuclear dna is inherited from both mother and father so mitochondrial dna is in inherited only from mother so the second one is right now these diseases can be prevented by mitochondrial replacement therapy before the in vitro fertilization of the egg as you can see in the diagram so it's not after it's just before so two only is the right option here the next question is ball guard 1 and ball guard 2 technologies which is bt cotton as we commonly say are genetically modified crop plant techniques so 2 is the right option the next is uh, in pressure cooker the temperature uh, of the cooking is dependent on so the temperature would depend on the temperature of the flame let's say if the flame is only 30 degree so the temperature in the pressure cooker cannot go beyond it so temperature of the flame would be one of the uh, characteristics weight of not the whole lead but just the whistle would be material so third is incorrect the area of the hole would be the right answer again because pressure uh, would be uh, pressure into area would be force now what would happen here the area would increase 
so even with lesser pressure you would have uh, uh, the the whistle that would actually uh, actually get up rise up so you would have one and two as the right option clear the next question is a very direct question which of the following can be cultured in artificial medium so bacteria and fungi uh, can be cultured in artificial medium uh, Fungi can be cultured both in natural and synthetic medium. Bacteria can be cultured in simple synthetic and complex medium. However, viruses cannot be cultured in artificial medium because they require a host for replication. So one and two are the only correct answers for this question. The last question for this set is about adenovirus. So adenovirus are double stranded. So the first one is incorrect and retroviruses are single stranded RNA. So again, this is incorrect. Common cold is caused sometimes by adenovirus that is correct that is one of the symptoms of adenovirus and AIDS is caused by retrovirus that is again correct so HIV caused by retrovirus so two only is the right option so we would be covering the last part and coming up with CSET solutions very soon stay tuned for many more updates from our side wish you very good luck for preparation for more details visit the links below wish you good luck.